An Orange County teacher and 13 other people are facing charges tonight following a cyber crimes bust that targeted people looking to meet underage children online. At four, we told you the operation was called Treasure Florida Kids 2. And now new for five, we're asking whether operations like this really make a difference. Channel 9's Mert Price joins us live from Lake County Sheriff's Office tonight. Mert, deputies told you these crackdowns do work. Yeah, officials say even though they arrest people every time they carry out one of these sex things, they say operations like this work. And they say once the cases move over to the courtrooms, they say it's almost always a slam dunk for prosecutors. The Lake County Sheriff's Office Cyber Unit has been busy. One of their top priorities. They try to catch those who are looking to meet minors online and trouble for sex. Detectives just wrapped up a week-long sex sting where they arrested 14 men. Deputies posed as 13, 14, and 15-year-old kids, and they went on social media. They chatted with suspects and then set up places to meet up for sex. Among those arrested were 48-year-old Jason Sillards, Last year, he taught at Wolf Lake Middle School. However, he wasn't set to return this year. A universal employee, Matthew Kenny, was also arrested. The more we get these people off the street, I think there are less out there. Um, I think we are making an impact. Deputies believe these busts work, and our legal analyst agrees. Sexting's operations like this have a high success rate in prosecution. They usually result in a plea hardly ever a trial. We asked, can the suspects beat the charges by arguing they were talking to adults instead of underage kids? It's the intent of the defendant. If the defendant thought they were talking to a minor and trying to have sex with that minor, that's what law enforcement, that's what the state attorney's office, and that's what the court looks at. Deputies also told me oftentimes they arrest people who have no records. They don't know if these suspects have either never been caught or is this their first offense. But they say that once they arrest these people, now they have them on the radar and they believe that keeps the community safer. Live in Lee County, Merck Price, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.